Okay, so hey, and welcome to another video. We're gonna keep this intro short and sweet because I have a lot of ground to cover. As you can tell by our title, I'm gonna be working on my Halloween costume, and this year I'm gonna be a mushroom. But not just any mushroom, a magic mushroom. Yes, a psilocybin mushroom. Why? I have no idea. I just thought it would be funny. And not only am I going to be a magic mushroom, but Patrick is going to join me. So as you can see here in my sketches, I am taking inspiration straight from nature. From the color and shape of the caps to the gills underneath, even down to the bruising that psilocybin mushrooms have when they get plucked from the ground. All right, enough of that. Let's pass it on to myself. <laughs> I'll take it from here, intro Leia. <laughs> the other day I went to the thrift store to try and find pretty much everything I needed for this project. I was kind of successful. There may be a few things I forgot, but for now I have most of the supplies I am going to need. So I found this brown pillowcase. <laughs> I also found a white pillowcase, both for the gills. Um, I found a large white sheet that I'm going to use for my bottoms as well as the tops of at least one of the mushrooms. Also found a shirt for Patrick. A lot of the other materials I already have, I believe, including including an old hat. <laughs> um, I think that's a great start. So I'm gonna get started and if I need more supplies then I'll need some more supplies. <laughs> I don't like using hot glue for stuff but I feel like this project is gonna be a lot of hot glue. Um, but yeah. The first thing I decided to tackle was my skirt. I really wanted to go with kind of like a hippie vibe for this outfit, so I wanted to make a huge circle skirt, which I have never done before, so I consulted the internet, as one does. Should I make a pattern? I don't want to make a pattern. I'm gonna make a pattern. Yay. Off to making my pattern, I measured my waist, I traced all my measurements onto some newspaper that I was using as pattern paper, and then began the long process of getting it to line up with the skirt. I folded this and reattached this like three or four times before I realized I didn't really need a pattern. I can just trace it by attaching a piece of string and a pen and just making a half circle. So I guess I did kind of waste my time making patterns. I didn't get any other footage of the skirt because all I did was sew it together and add a waistband and then some small minor details and that was it. On to the red mushroom hat. For this one, I am using an old hat as a base, but I wanted to add some cardboard so that it would give it that nice rounded shape that I was looking for. And so I just hot glued it together. my hair <laughs> hold on I don't want to cover this like I was gonna use fabric but when I put the fabric on you could totally see like the ridges and I was like okay well I could put a support across here which would you know make it not dip right here but like then you're gonna see those lumps so I might have to go to paper mache Today, we're working on this paper mache again. This is an eyeball. I paused the show at a weird spot. Ignore it. I had done the paper mache, as you can see, and originally I was going to do it as like a base, and then I was going to cover it with fabric, but why don't I just have paper mache? So I'm going to go in. There's a few spots that are not very smooth as I want them to be. Um, I'm going to smooth them out, and then, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. This is why I don't wear this. It always gets stuck on my hair and rips out like, oh my god, that just ripped out like 20 hairs. Ow. 
I'm bald now. to paint it white before I started painting it red. So now it's gonna take like 20 coats. <laughs> okay. Seven layers so far. Hi, I'm sick of working on this hat because I have so much other stuff to do for this costume. So I'm just gonna attempt to like throw this at it and hope it finishes itself. So the underside of the mushroom is called the gills and this was pretty complicated for me as I wanted to do something really precise but it wasn't working. So I ended up gathering my fabric on my sewing machine and then I had to figure out how I was going to attach it to the hat. I ended up attaching the gathers on the outside of the hat, but upside down. And then taking all the extra bits of the fabric, hand gathering them, and putting them inside the hat where your head goes. I hope that made sense. And because I'm extra and I really didn't like the way all the frays looked, I hand sewed a piece of fabric around the edges to clean it up and so it wasn't itchy. For this hat, I decided to start with the gills and I had to seam rip this brown pillowcase which took forever. No! But we got through it and that's all that matters. I first started by trying to accordion fold and make this really like even pattern, but that was taking way too long. So I decided to just hand gather it and call it a day and look fabulous. Moving on to the actual hat itself. I had originally tried to do this with paper and a bunch of tape and I was very pleased with it. But as you can see, it's super flimsy and I had to start over with some cardboard because that is what I should have used in the first place. And I used the same pen and string method to get almost a perfect circle. Just ignore that. And then the long process of cutting it out. Have you ever tried to cut cardboard with scissors? It's such a pain. And my hand still kind of hurts just watching this footage back. But we got through it and I was actually able to recycle the top part of the hat and use it as the cone. I didn't really get any footage of this, but I made a fabric sock to go over the whole thing, which was kind of a pain in the butt to make it fit, but we did it. Ooh, very zoomed in. Hello. Um, today we are out in the garage to paint my hat because I'm sick of being in my bedroom. <laughs> Koa's out here with me. Say hi, Koa. I don't know. What is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. But he's, he's a flight risk, which is why he's tied up. But it's okay. I'm going to sit right next to him. I was going to buy fabric paint, but then I saw a few videos where people were just watering down acrylic and using it as fabric paint. And this doesn't really need to be like super flexible. It can be kind of like crunchy and rigid. So we'll see if this works. I hope it does because I don't want to go back to the store. <laughs> we had a malfunction when I was painting. The inner cone completely fell apart on the inside. So I had to rip it out. Um, I panicked, but I was able to fit another cone on the inside. I gotta adjust this a little bit. I'm currently attempting to glue up the inside. As you can see, it's not quite as centered as it was before. It kind of looks like Mount Fuji, huh? <laughs> I made a volcano. This is my science project. And if this gluing on the inside thing didn't work, 
I was probably, I don't know. I don't know what my backup plan was. This is slowly coming back together. I have a few more things to do, but I'm gonna finish those up and then we'll see the finished looks. Funny on camera. Okay, I'm a mushroom. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, yeah, this is what we're gonna be for Halloween. We're gonna be mushrooms. Look how big this thing is, bro. What are you guys gonna be for Halloween? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>